Hey guys, Asher here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can have a custom title in your Friday Night Funkin' mod. Now, some mods have done this, like County Funkin' and Mario's Madness, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do it with no source code involved via Lua. Now, the way we're going to be doing this is by a script in your mods folder. Now, if you have two or more mods, I do recommend either A, putting the script both into, into the two scripts folders or porting everything to one mod folder for ease of access. Otherwise, it will kind of bug. So, as you can see, I've already got the file in here. Um, I'm just going to open it up and explain what each function does and what you have to type. Or, or when I have it up, you can just um, pause, copy everything, or even better would be downloading the link to the game banana tool I'm going to upload later, which does this um, and more. So in here, we're going to go ahead and open our song script dot Lua. And now in here, what this is, is what this does is. So basically, we've got two local variables. One local variable is the engine name. So that would be the name of the mod for and for purposes I'm just copying the default um, title text for psych engine next we have another local variable called composer name this will be used in songs if you want to credit composers obviously which you should next we have an if statement to set our composer name what it does is it checks the song name that is currently playing and checks to see if the song is in our example paranoia and if that comes back as true, then it will set the composer name at the top to Sandy, who created Paranoia. Next, we have our function for changing the window title. So what this does is once the song starts, it will set the property, the window title, to our engine name and a dash, followed by the song name, followed by a vertical line, followed by the composer's name. And then we've also got on destroy, what this does is once the song finishes or once the script has been unloaded, so for example on restarting the song and things like that, what it will do is it will set it back to our engine name and add a little splash text telling us that we're in the menus. Now I'm going to be showing you if you have more than one song what you can do is you can keep adding if statements like this. So I'm going to, I've also got another song, um, if song name is equal to drunk man slaughter then we're going to set the composer name composer name equals loopster one two three four end okay and now if we go into our psych now if we go into our psych engine build and we load up Psych Engine, like so. And we go into free play. And we go ahead and we load into Drunk Man Slaughter in this case. What this will do is this will set our title text on the first note hit. As you can see on the first note hit, it has changed our text to Drunk Man Slaughter and the Composer. And if we exit to menu, it'll change to Psych Engine in the menus. Now, this can be an easy way to have a custom title. But the only thing is, if you're using it script-based like this, whenever you open it, it will automatically default to Friday Night Funkin' whatever engine you're using, or in this case, Psych Engine. So the way to fix this would be using source code. So if I quickly go to source code to my source code mod that I'm working on, if we go down to project.xml and this and open it up, right at the top it'll say app title equals Friday Night Funkin Psych Engine for you, the XE show for me because I've changed it. What this does is it sets the default name like generally to whatever you set in there. So that means for example if I come here now and I go to um, if I go to the debug build and I go to the bin so basically what would happen is I have the song script already set in there. But what it would do is if this was on a normal psych engine build, when you open it up, that would be psych engine. 
However, due to this being customized, due to this being a customized build via source code, it shows up as the EXE show at the top. But uh, yeah, that's the tutorial done. Um, if you can't be bothered to copy, um, if you can't be bothered to follow along with it, um, go ahead and um, download the tool I'm going to upload to Game Banana. Um, it should be available by the time this mod, this video goes up. Um, as for main game songs, uh, it doesn't work on main game songs if you just drag and drop into your mods folder. So what you're going to want to do is I will include a bat file in there um, called song script. If I go ahead and I pull it up now real, real quick. Um, it's a bat, it's a batch file. If I go ahead and I open our song script, if I go ahead and I open it in Visual Studio Code. So let me go ahead and open it now. If we open this, what this is, is it's a simple, it's a simple um, batch file um, that what it does is all you would have to do is change this path to your mod um, where the file is located. And then what it does is it, all it does is it looks for these target folders and then what it does is it just copies the file into those target folders as it's basically just a one you double click and it's done instead of going back and forth and pasting the script into every single file um, but uh, yeah um, to do that to do that all you have to do is just go to assets um, songs and then just paste it into here and double click and everything would be sorted through. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, um, liking and subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Uh, next modding video is going to be showing you how to play a video on Game Over since someone requested it. Um, if you want to see other tutorials, um, don't hesitate to suggest in the comments as um, if I haven't done that specific tutorial. It could be a learning experience for me and a learning experience for you. Um, but yeah, with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Ashlamakul, out.